Pigs are really intelligent. Like dogs and... Sad. Here, we, we, we'll give you this booklet on here. If you go to cubatruth.com, we just advocate that people don't eat animals or use animals or wear them like, because this is what they have to go through. So you can do like a 22 day vegan challenge, it's, it's on the website, 22 day vegan challenge and you get assigned a mentor and they help you um, like live so crook. Yeah. yeah, respect animals, that's what we're about, respecting them. But I used to eat meat, dairy, eggs only three and a half years ago, bacon and eggs for breakfast, big massive T-bones every night, I thought it was real macho but I was like, wait a second, like, I might not love animals, but I don't want to see them get hurt. Yeah. You know, like I love my dogs and I care for animals and a little pup doggy here. You know, we love our dogs, we love our pets, but these animals, they've got the capacity to be just like our pets. They, they, they feel pain, they suffer, they want to live in peace, they don't want to be hurt, you know. And we just, we're relentless and we show them no mercy. We, we just kill them, you know. Do you know what you're looking at? Or? We're from on, on the other side of the fence. So Are you farmers? Yeah. Ah. That doesn't necessarily mean you. Absolutely. But I don't want to sell the gay vegan message, but I can see what that's not the way you do things. Are you? So. Yeah. At the end of the day, we can't control what happens in the slaughterhouse to them, can we? Uh, I think I can if I do it. If I do it, I can. We said oh, that. That, that is, uh, yeah, that's not what I want to be part of, but uh, I still want to be part of, I want to be very much part of a, a meat industry, but I don't want to be part of that, so we, we that's not, that's they, not. They come hand in hand though, we can't avoid it. No, they don't. Like, yeah. we got how many billions of people we've got on earth, we're going to treat every animal kindly and caress them before we uh, slit their throat open. Like, I, I don't know if it's possible, like. It, it's, it's not possible. Yeah. But we can make things much better. I, I, it means nothing for the animal though. It, Making it better, like, they, at the end of the day, they still got bolt gun in the head. Like, we, we, we so just, what would you have they not get bred even at all? You, so you would have that they actually not get bred, so there's no enjoyment well, for people to have an animal in their life. If you had animals in your life, they'd uh, huge, huge yeah. extra to your life. Well, then like, we, we keep them in your, our lives. We, send, we grow them to, for two years and we send them to a slaughterhouse. We don't agree, we don't agree with that, just breeding them for... So, uh, to make money off their backs. What would you have do we do with the animals? We, what we would say is like there's a lot of other lucrative industries for farmers like plants or like soybeans or soy milk yeah, and they're, they're taking those. over now like they're starting to take yeah. over there's new so industries you'd have that a, we could have a land with no animals on it though. but you could cultivate some type of, type of crop where there's because now that this plant-based industry is getting bigger people aren't don't want to buy um, animals that have gone to a slaughterhouse like no matter how you guys don't dispute that you guys treat your animals well but when they we put them on that truck we send them to the slaughterhouse, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's no controlling what happens to them, they, they get chopped up into a million pieces. We think the animals deserve a life without, like a dog, if we put dogs in there, you know, you know that animals are intelligent, yeah? Oh, I've worked, I've worked with them seven days a week. You know how smart they are. Oh, absolutely. Um, we see them smile in the paddock, they love and, us. And when we take their children away from them, when they're when they're so do dairy farmers, they take the, their calf yeah, away. The, the cows that. bellow out for months. They're, they're, Absolutely, it's, I've seen cows heartbroken. Yeah. So we know there's a sentient animal inside. There's a, there's someone inside there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We never we're never going to agree. But I don't want that. I don't I don't want that. That is not. So I, I, you don't you still agree with killing them is okay. I don't. Like in your heart. You, like in your heart. Humanely, is I, I don't. Okay? I trip. That's had a good year. No, you, no, but in your in your heart, do you think taking their life, no matter how we do it, is okay? Like it's our job to take their life away from them. It's okay for us if we're going to eat their bodies when we don't necessarily need to. There's no necessity for meat in our diet. Like we can live happy, healthy without it. We can I, live healthy without. I it. don't. I, I don't I'm about happy. You can't be happy without no, me. I love it. Yeah, I, I used to love the taste it. of it too. I'm not going to say I did. I used to have really big T-bones nearly every night. 
but like I think like does my taste outweigh their life? Like I think it's pretty. It was. I felt like I was being a bit. I don't know. Like like selfish in the way that my taste buds meant more than their their whole life. That they, they, the only one they get, and you know, we sort of give them their own destiny, don't we? We're like. Yeah, we. I, I know you want to say something. Well, you, you've got something that you really want to say. We can't live by, um, so because I know we, we can no never, animals, yeah. I guess, we can in your never, way. Because yeah. But we could agree that it's wrong to take their life. We could agree on that. Well, we can agree no. that it's wrong to take their life like the, the, that. There are ways to there take, ways that, that to take so their wrong. life that are, yeah, that are humanely. Yeah. That are practical. And, yeah, practical. And that are um, painful. Like, uh, like not in front of each other. Like not showing it in front of each other. Slaughterhouses that have, that have good practices. We could do this practically on a huge scale, like seven billion people want meat? Yeah, probably could. You think we could? That's the stuff that we have. That's the stuff well, that we this have is why we've got factory farms. That's the stuff that we and, have, and that's, yeah. And, and that's, that's why we so want to get wrong. rid of that. that yeah, and it goes so wrong there. Look, at even the chicken industries that allow... Uh, that allow uh, 40 to 60,000 in yeah. a shed. But even the chicken industry now that allow their free-range chickens, like free-range chickens get to do and to roam the uh, yeah. countryside and still lay eggs and still be killed for meat birds. Do you know there's no um, there's no legal framework as to, to that pertains to what free-range actually is. I know there so is. So that they, they can call it free range and it's not well, free range. That, that's something we need to fix. There are things we need to fix. I think there's one there's a solution that fixes all of it, which is leave them alone. Like we're then, trying so to find then you'd have animals so then either you have no animals because they're gonna die eventually. Like they're gonna well, die so I they're think, just all gonna die of old age. Well then it's better than breeding like if they were better than breeding them into existence for this fate that they have. I think that, that what we're doing is morally wrong. We're playing God. We're, we're genetically modifying these animals. We're breeding them into existence so we can slit their throats and eat their bodies. I just think that from the animal standpoint, we are, their, we are the oppressor. Like, uh, think of it from the cow's perspective. You know how intelligent they are. And, yeah. They're like big puppy dogs. Yeah. I've known farmers, boom, go vegan, and then try out something, try farming something else, because there's going to be a big soy milk industry. The the the, um, the plant-based industry is getting huge. I would, I would, I grow, I don't grow soybeans. Yeah. I don't grow them. Yeah. What I know about soybeans, I would worry more about feeding my child soy, soy. than I would feeding them meat. That I can that, and that I, we know we've bred, we've bred, we've bought it up the cow, we've loved it. So health wise, we've, yes, we've we've fed it. We know what we fed it, yeah. the cow, and then we kill it, feed it to our children, like at a, at a reasonable age, not a veal, not as a lamb, yeah. but at a reasonable age. It's lived a good life on our farm. It's lived a happy life on our farm, and, it, and the meat tastes better because of all of that. The meat tastes better. Yeah, absolutely. Because okay. of the way that you kill meat. If you treat meat well, if you treat it the animal, animal well. Treat the animal, the animal well. Absolutely. The animal treats, treats you so well. So what do your children like, like seeing an animal get slaughtered? Do they, they or they, they wouldn't no, like it? No, no. They, so we, we're saying like we don't think, think it's oh, it's against our nature as kind, compassionate human beings to do this to animals and we're doing it because we've been programmed over time to, to, to like the taste of meat, to think that you know killing them is okay because it's obviously ingrained into our culture, isn't it? Like I mean as a farmer you'd know it's been passed down through tradition and through oh. Our family comes very much through the respect side. You, you've got to, you've got to respect. But it, yeah. And I, yeah. Do you think a knife in the throat is respect? Or uh, there's not an animal that we kill yeah. that doesn't. Like we shoot them. That, you shoot, shoot them. them. We shoot them. They, they don't. They don't know. Like they. They don't know about it. They don't know about it. No. I, I would never. I, yeah. I, I know and that I'd you don't. I know you don't agree with animal cruelty. That. cruelty. That's obvious by the way that you're ex watching this. And but that, that is that so, is just so far. That is. 99% of people don't get their meat from your happy cows. You you agree with that? Yeah. I I, I wish somebody would would fight to sell the argument. Factory. When you do anything yeah. in that that side, capacity the factory is farm so wrong. I I, I can. Yeah, we, we have we, to. We can. I could, I could quite happily feed a hundred families when I do it, but but the system doesn't allow me to feed. It says I've got to feed a thousand, and for me to feed a thousand, I can't do. I we you can't, cannot. You can't, you can't do, it. Up to do it. You yeah. can't do it. It's if impossible. To, if you want to feed ten thousand, you have you have an animal has to be. How much land? Unit. How much water yeah. do they drink? 
you know, how much resources, you know how much cows drink, how much fresh water they drink. Yeah. We've got 56 billion land animals on earth at the moment. They're drinking our resources. They're, they're, we're feeding all the, all the so 50% of um, the grain is going to feed livestock. We, we can't have grass fed cattle for everyone. You know what I'm saying? So like, this industry is causing problems in all areas. Our stock only drink the water that falls on our property. All, okay. the, all the water they drink falls on our property. We, we don't deprive anybody of water. Yeah. But I just, I, the, the argument that I wish people would, would push much more is we need to farm animals. It, I want to farm animals. There's people that want to buy meat from me. There's people that, I, I honestly don't believe that we can feed the planet just on grains. Why not? Because you... Not on just grains. We've got grains, fruits, vegetables, seeds, yes, nuts. Yes. Um, we, we can cultivate them. We're, we're cultiv cultivating enough to fi feed 56 billion land animals. I, I, we can feed the world 10 times over. I, I, honest, I honestly believe that cultivation, cultivating the soil, is significantly worse for the earth than what running livestock. Well, we, 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 well, livestock are eating the, the grains. That's what we're saying. Yeah. So without livestock, a lot of cultivation wouldn't have to happen. We'd just have enough for us. They're chopping down the rainforest to grow soybeans to feed to cattle. Yes. And I, <laughs> and I so that's eat. because we eat meat. It's not because, you know, you've got a farm where you do things differently. That's fine. It might be a little bit... Uh, I've heard grass kept fed cattle produces more um, methane gas. So it's worse for the ozone. I've heard that. But the, 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 the counter argument that is cattle eat grass. Yeah. Grass turns carbon dioxide, gives you off. Like, we, 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 we are... We are from as far as we can, we, we can yeah. establish, we're more than carbon neutral. What, what yeah. we produce is offset by what the, the, the way we farm our land. We don't we don't burn any okay. residues on it. Like we we try to do things properly, but I I, I so I you're the exception, want, not the rule. I, I don't want that. No, there are a lot of farmers. Uh, yeah, but you, yeah. percentage wise, yeah. let's talk about oh. percentage wise. You're the exception, not the rule. And you, you, I, I, if, if somebody could could argue, and you do it very patiently, that, that doing it as a factory farm, yeah, it, that that is not the way. We we, we have done things, but we, we don't. They weren't in crates. They didn't. Where did they crates. go afterwards? They, they have to go to a commercial. They go to the slaughterhouse. Most of that I can see in there is actually the breeding side, but a lot, a lot of that is is a cruelty that happens in, in, in the housing. In side. farming. Yeah. 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 And, that, and that that is so not on. You don't agree that my position is the most humane way. Not not stabbing them in the throat, not bolt gunning in their head, not shooting them, just letting the ones. Just letting them be or not breeding them into existence, not playing God with these animals' lives. Oh, humane? The most Very humane method is not eating them. Or things that come out of them, just leaving them be. Oh. Like, I don't oh. think you can humanely take someone's life who wants to live. If, you, if they've got a good life on your farm, to rob them of their life is even more of an injustice. Oh, I don't see it that way. But, but, I, but from the cow's perspective, you've got to see it from their eyes. That we don't look at it from our eyes, it's different. Things look differently from our eyes. We're eating them, they taste good. From the cow's perspective though, they don't want to be eaten, they don't want to be killed. Put a gun to their head, they will be scared. I, I honestly don't. Is there, not, is there not a cow on our farm that I can pat? Will, no. will everyone come to me when I call it? Yeah, they love you. They must love you. They it's must think a, that you're yeah, their protector. We don't protect. cattle. They and, follow us. And I have had... Their, so it must hurt you to take their life from them? To shoot it, them in the head? It, it does not make me happy. Yeah. But I, it's telling you something, though. But, I, no. but that makes it a good thing if it doesn't make him happy. Because that means that he's actually bred the animal to do the right thing. Uh, I don't so think bad. it's a good thing. I think he's, it's a, it's a moral dilemma for you. Oh, it's I a would, bit of a moral dilemma for you. No, I, I, that, that, that is, I, I, yeah. I, I cannot, I just, that is so... so you don't, you, bad, you, only eat, you don't eat meat from anywhere else, only the cows that you shoot in the head yourself. Like, you won't go to the anywhere, that's what we're saying. Like there's not, it's not practical for people to always eat meat and just eat from their one cow that they shot in the head, like... But, well, I could, I could with, we, we could make it so much better. Yeah, but I, I, can't, I don't think we can. I don't think we can. I don't think we can. On the scale that we're eating meat, I don't think there's a possible way we can produce as much meat as we want to eat in a humane way. And I don't think you can take an animal's life from them humanely. Oh, there, there is. Yeah, there, 
We've got to think about different. Like, like we got to think differently now. Oh, you, you are obviously a very passionate man. You wouldn't be giving up your time for a cause. I think, but yeah. I, but I would just be so cautious of believing that soy is an alternative protein to beef. There is, yeah. oh, there, there is so much. There, there is. There is a lot of evidence of the manipulation that's happened to soy. Uh, I, I would say the cattle. What about beans? We, we, lentils. We, we grow beans and lentils. I don't think there is the corruption in those that, that there is in the soy. So, so soy is not an argument against what we're saying, though. Like, if you don't want to eat soy, you don't have to eat soy, but, but there's I, other I alternatives. Would, there are alternatives, but soy should not. I, I, would, I would definitely not, not be that much. I've seen evidence. I haven't seen the science behind that. Pooling all the results. Soy food intake after breast cancer diagnosis was associated with reduced mortality, meaning a longer lifespan and reduced recurrence, so less likely the cancer comes back. Anyone who says otherwise hasn't cracked a journal open in seven years. Most of the soy is used to fed, is fed to cattle that people eat. Most there, there is a lot of soy used in human... Like there, there, yeah. Be, beans and lentils, very good. There's a documentary called, if you go on there, you, you might not want to see anything else, but if you go on there, cubatruth.com, there's a documentary called What the Health. Yep. I recommend watching it, and it, what they do is they basically present the science. So it's, it's basically scientific consensus now that saturated fat and cholesterol cause heart disease. Okay, This isn't a, a hidden thing in the scientific community. And then cholesterol is only found in animal products. Grass-fed, organic animal products still contain saturated fat and cholesterol, so... You're, you're obviously a very intelligent man, and there are studies that said the human development has only happened since we've been eating protein more calories. Through, through meat too. So, so I, like, we ate more calories because we could scavenge for meat, yeah? But, but that doesn't mean we need to do that now. In this day and age, we've got supermarkets. Scavenge in the sky. <laughs> they're, they're the enemy. Thanks so much for your chat. Thank, thank you for your passion. We're and thanks for looking after these cows, but I'd, I'd just say at the end of the line, don't shoot them in the head, please. <laughs> thanks.